So today I have gotten a quick little interview with Mara from RTE. You probably know her from the uh, Today program that she does with Dahi. So with all that said, uh, Mara, how are you uh, doing today? Good, thanks. Very good. Good. Um, so first question I'd like to ask you simply is, uh, how did you get into this whole TV work and presenting in journalism and well, whatnot? Well, I worked as a researcher uh, back in the day with Jim Fahey, who was the Western correspondent for TV, and then it was him really who kind of pushed me to uh, get on screen, which I didn't really want to, but he kind of said, that's it, get away from the desk and go in front of the TV. And it just, one thing led to another, TG Power was starting in 1996, I spoke Irish, and that was kind of a natural kind of progression. That's where I began as a reporter, journalist with TG Power, and then in 98 I went to work for TV3 as a reporter, and then I later became a crime star with them, and then I ended up going on to Ireland AM when I started presenting in, in the studio rather than on the road. God. And uh, so what was Ireland AM like? Is, uh, a very long, one. long, <laughs> 7 until 10 every day, so yeah, it was great, but it was very different, I suppose, for me, that I was on the road for a long time, I was very used to... You know, I was in the courts a lot because I was crime car. So for me, uh, the transfer inside was different. You know, it was very different to read an auto queue. I used to edit all my own stuff and, you know, I used to write all my scripts. And then, you know, you'd have a lot of people working behind the scenes with you. So for me, <laughs> I was like, this is a nice job. <laughs> it was, it was good. It was early mornings, which I wasn't good at, but uh, I really loved job and I, I worked with Mark Cagney who was a fabulous co-presenter oh, yeah. and Aiden, Aiden as well, Alan Hughes, they were great, Aiden Cooney and Alan Hughes, they were wonderful and they showed me the ropes because it was a new discipline, a new thing for me. <laughs> and uh, now you do uh, afternoon programming with uh, Dahi on the Today program, so uh, what's that like, uh, same difference, uh, how is it doing that show? Well, um, I presented the afternoon show in RTE for a couple of years and I did a show on my own for a few years and then they put us together, Dohi and I, and uh, I think uh, we're coming up to our 10th anniversary of the show now in Cork, so it's, yeah, it's great, I love it, it's a lovely mix, and the people really like it, so see you later. So it is, yeah, it's, it's great, I really like it, it's, it's a great mix, and I think especially during the lockdown and COVID and all that, people really felt that they connected with us, because we were a great kind of lifeline for a lot of people, especially people that were, you know, at home, so far, staying together the whole lot, so I think it's, uh, I think now more than ever, shows like that, especially live shows that are interactive, are needed, especially when people feel alone and lonely and we're, we have a good mix. So we help them along, everything from medical to music to cooking. So it's, it's we try and lift people's spirits every day and that's how I see my job. And it has been working because a lot of interaction is yeah. on the show, like the quizzes for example. Oh, yeah. Very easy i found to whenever I go and try and answer the questions for myself. Do you yeah. find them easy? Or they are, but you know what, I guess they're kind of people please your questions it's not mastermind so the, sh the question is just to get people in and to, to, to interact with us and I know it's, it's it's really simple but in a way it's it's not so much about the question it's more of you know people getting in touch and all that and that's that's the thing we're not making a difference for anyone it's just to get involved yeah. um, I'm gonna end it off with a couple of uh, the mad questions that I do for uh, uh, the radio uh, and my YouTube as well Starting with the first one of, do you like escargot? Escargot? Um, yeah, I, I don't dislike escargot. It's not something I'd have every single day of my life. I've tried it when I went to France the first time, as you do. But it's, uh, okay, fine. It's like if you are brought up on an island like I am, and I would have eaten limpets, which we call bornyachy, as a child, it's not too different to escargot. <laughs> I see. Um, which is better, Mario or Sonic? The Mario or Sonic, is that like the game? Yeah. I have no, I have nothing to say on that because I, I know nothing about it. Pass. Nothing. <laughs> my son, ask my seven year old kid. <laughs> um, what's your favorite sport? I'm not a bit sporty, to be honest about things. I mean, people laugh at me. If you were to say what would I like to watch most on TV when it comes to sport, I would say figure skating. And people would argue that it is a sport. But I think it's the most beautiful, amazing. Yeah. In the, it, it, it's it's like it's dance of course it's on ice it's wonderful and I just love it so much uh, I have become a kind of golf widow because my husband's a big golfer so I now love watching the Masters so yeah I've, 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 I've never I've never played golf but I like watching it <laughs> and uh, finally if I was to ask you to go see the Space Jam movie the new one with me would you go? 
Yeah, well, I'd, I like anything once, so yeah, I'd give, it a, I'd give it a go. Why not? Oh my god, this is the first person that actually <laughs> said yes. <laughs> anything once, that's what I say. <laughs> uh, anyway, any final words for the... Any last things you like? Not really, I just want to get back to my gin and tonic. <laughs> <laughs> well, Maura, thank you very much for coming onto the show. No and uh, Yeah, see you soon. <laughs>